Hi everyone, welcome to another Feats of Strength video. This week we're putting brakes on the badonkadonk and getting it painted. Adding brakes to this bike is gonna be pretty simple, especially compared to adding disc brake tabs. I've got another video on that. Feel free to click the link. What I have here are some brake posts that I have cut off of a donor frame, cleaned them up a little bit, given them some contour, and I am just going to sort out where to put them on the frame. You can see I moved the brake pad pretty far forward in the brake arm because the wheel is pretty far forward in the dropouts marked some general lines here as to where I'm going to weld the brake post on. Transfer those over to the other side, clean it up, and get them welded. All right, let's tear this bike down. Next, just give the frame and fork a light sand so the paint sticks a little bit better. I don't need to take it all off, just giving it some texture. Gonna do a little bit of frame cleanup, pulling this brake stop off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the cable guide on the other side. And a little bit of cleanup with a wire wheel. I don't have a jig for putting brake posts on. Again, it's a freak bike. Judge me if you want, but I think this is gonna be close enough. The biggest goals here is just getting them straight up and down and parallel to one another. Ooh, freak bike technology. Got them where I want them. Time to weld them in place. A little bit of smoking here from grease inside the brake posts. Adds to the ambiance. And some of the neighboring paint melted back when I was welding it. Just clean that up really quick with a wire wheel. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of masking of some of the surfaces I don't want to get paint on. I'm not being too precise here. Mostly I just want to keep paint out of some of the bearing races. I could probably just lay this down on the sidewalk and spray paint it as is. It would still work just fine. Looks like I've masked off everything that I want to. Time to get to painting. This is just a good all-purpose primer, nothing special. And throw a little bit of primer onto the frame. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, well, that's our murder shed. That's where we stack the bodies. Anyway, just going to take a bunch of light passes here. Make sure everything's evenly coated. Lots of light even passes all around each tube. Trying to get it well covered-ish. All right, while the primer is drying, who's got time for a quick story? Going back to the tail end of 2019, pre-pandemic. <laughs> I had the good fortune of taking a trip to Japan for a couple weeks. And during that trip, I was invited up to the University of Scuba. Got a couple of friends up there. They hooked us up with some cargo bikes, gave us a tour of the campus. It's a pretty big campus, 636 acres, making it the second largest in Japan. They're primarily known for their science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine research. But this trip, the curriculum was a little bit different. I was given the great honor of some access to their sculpture facilities in the art building to give a freak bike building workshop. And the third time that I got to build a badonkadonk. We put 700 sea wheels on a mamachari, fastest bike in the world. It was a lot of fun getting to share some of the freak bike love with the folks over there. Everyone was awesome, great to work with, really a lot of fun to see this all come together and see the smiles on everyone's faces during the test ride. I hear it is still being ridden somewhere around campus. So, you know, keep an eye out next time you're in Japan. A special thanks to my friends Tad and Tak who helped coordinate the entire demo. Couldn't have done it without them. Really appreciate all of their help and, and looking forward to seeing them again when the pandemic is over. All right, welcome back to the present day. I noticed that the crank set was bent on the badonk and I'm gonna get it fixed really quick. I'm gonna fix it with fire. Just slowly applying heat where the bend is. Got it clamped in a vise. Once it's warm enough, hopefully I can bend it back into shape. All right, got a little Montana electric shock blue such an awesome color sorry not sorry I'm gonna be painting a lot of bikes this color all right let's get it built up Ooh, bike build montage. Finish the brakes. Last thing to do is take it for a test ride. Really pumped on how the donk turned out. The color is awesome. It rides really well, almost as good as the first one. Do need to widen these handlebars, so keep an eye out for the donk to show up again soon. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.